Hello YouTube, this is a continuation of the experiments into the back EMF. So I have four transformers. So two microwave transformers right here and two um, one to four transformers right here. And everything is hooked up um, at, at, uh, on the low side. So the high voltage connectors aren't hooked up to anything on all the transformers. And um, so, so the power source is this 9 volt battery. So the, the plus goes into the low volt voltage side, comes out, goes to the other transformer. And all the transformers are connected in series to each other. And then, um, then it goes to this transformer. This is just a, a ring inductor. And then it's, it goes into this air core. And then it comes out of the air core and goes to one side of the reed switch. And across the reed switch we have this load, which is, um, which is 13 watts. Um, 120 volt uh, light bulb and um, on the other side it just goes back to, to the 9 volt battery so let's see um, oh yeah the, the rotor I was gonna talk about the rotor the rotor is um, has four magnets on it four neodymium magnets two of them are north facing and two of them are south facing so you, you've seen this rotor in my previous videos so let's hook this, this thing up. As you can see the rotor is spinning, the um, light bulb is flashing. There, there's a large voltage go going on between these connectors. So. Um, I was actually shocked several times. I tried using this uh, oscillating switch that Laser Saber came up with. You know, I sharpened a piece of graphite and I have a wire lightly touching the graphite and I could get the oscillation going but it, it wasn't reliable so I had to go back to using the reed switch over here. So, um... So there you go. I'm I'm, I'm going to uh, right now. I'm running from this nine volt battery. Let's see. I also have my old power supply from that I used in the previous video. I'm going to uh, connect it, um, and uh, we're gonna see how low uh, we we can get the, the amperage and the voltage for this thing to. So what what really determines um, your your output is uh, how much uh, how many inductors you're using, you know, because um, all the induced magnetism is converted back into volts and amps when the switch is uh, broken. That's what the purpose of the of the reed switch, you know, it makes and breaks the connection. And uh, once the connection is broken, the uh, um, all the induced magnetism is converted into volts and amps. And um, so the purpose of the rotor is just to make and break uh, the connection, the read switch. So anyway, I'm going to reconnect this this thing with um, with the uh, the um, power supply, and we'll see how low we can get the voltage and the amperage. So I disconnected this uh, 9 volt battery uh, from this power supply and I connected uh, the leads to the power supply that you have seen in my previous video. This one is, um, let's, see if, um, let's see if you can focus, Okay, it's 5.9 volts, 400 milliamps and I'm going to have it hooked up uh, to this variac. So um, let's see. Let's plug it. Plug it in.
and the variac is set on 130 volts so the typical voltage in your house is between 110 and 120 volts so this is slightly higher than you would get in your um, in your outlet as you can see the rotor is spinning and the light is flashing so um, we're gonna decrease um, the input so we're, go we're gonna move the variac let's see this is our draw the variac so we're gonna decrease the input okay so we're at 78 we're at 78 volts as you can see the rotor continues to spin and the light continues to flash it's very very little percept perceptible difference between uh, what it was and what it is now even even though we, we cut the draw uh, half, half the draw okay we're going to reduce the input voltage even further Let's see. Okay. Okay, we're at fifty two volts. See the input voltage doesn't um, affect the setup as much as the inductors themselves because all the induced magnetism is, is converted into volts and amps once the switch is broken. So voltage wants to go to infinity and amperage wants to go to infinity once the switch is broken. I think this is quite um, an interesting technology that should be investigated. Let's lower the voltage even further. So right now we're at 52 volts. Okay, we're gonna go down to 39 volts. So it's 39 volt input volts, but uh, this this power supply is probably outputting um, maybe a fourth of what, what it's designed for it's going to be pro proportional the output of this power supply is going to be proportional to the input voltage so, so let's see okay, the rotor continues to spin the light continues to flash At the end of this video, I'm going to post a link to the paper uh, containing around 3,000 pages of suppressed inventions. So um, many, many of those are all considered over unity type of um, inventions. So if you're interested, please um, check it out. Thank you for your time.